Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. And if you are here for the first time, my name is James David, and I would like to do a short video about this begonia collection. And this particular one is known as Black Velvet Begonia. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, how I care for this particular plant. Basically, I want to show to you this particular rhizome begonia and how I actually propagated and planted them. As you can see it here, I have actually planted them and actually more on a more on a fact place where I actually use toothpicks to pin them, pin the stem down along the soil soil medium horizontally. I also find that uh, planting it downwards, especially like cutting and poking it straight, may cause stem rot and it will eventually cause this plant to rot and die away. And I can say that this is a little bit sensitive when rot start to take place. As you can see, the, the leaf has this uh, this more on, uh, look more spent and a little bit uh, beaten up, beaten down kind of thing. What I should tell you is that uh, it is okay for now because the newer leaves will be more more, more uh, vibrant and more vigorous in their growth. Other than that, uh, what is important here is that after planting it, uh, do water it at least about uh, two to three days once just to keep them barely moist, slightly moist, not too wet or muddy. Because what happened here is that you are actually controlling and handling the situation not to get it uh, rot. And uh, the plant should pick up its growth within a few weeks time with new folic growth. Also, I place this begonia in a bright shaded area but not exposed to too direct hot sun or in total shaded area. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my quick short video and I, pre and I appreciate if you can click like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or query, please uh, do uh, put it in the comment below and I'll come back to you as soon as possible.